In the last 30 years, we have seen rich people, rich companies come together to really hijack political power and use it to favor themselves. The gains of growth go mostly to a top small group of individuals and companies, while the rest get so little for their hard work from the growth they contribute to. The 62 richest people who now own as much wealth as 3.5 billion, who make up half of the poorest people in the world, they need to understand that these levels of economic inequality are bad for them. Why? Because they undermine long-term growth. It's important that wealthy individuals and companies pay their fair share of taxes. Companies have created a situation where they are allowed by law to stash away their money in tax havens so that it is not taxed. We need to get governments to agree a process to rein in all this money that's not being taxed so that it comes and buys the public goods we need. I would like to see progress on global corporate tax reform that could stop the harmful tax competition where companies just push governments further and further down to reduce their tax rates, make production and take actually natural resources most of the time without paying their fair share of taxes. This is critical. It's the policies of the last 30 years that have gotten us here. The wage gap between ordinary workers and the top has, has never been so wide as it is today. I would be so happy to see an international instrument to make every person earn a minimum living wage so that we have no one in this world who is working and going to bed hungry. <laughs>